Going on guys, Jack here and I'm back for episode 93 of my West Ham United career mode and in this episode we will be capping off the BPL campaign where we will finally get our hands on that BPL trophy and also we have the UEFA Champions Cup final against PSG. It's going to be an awesome game. Without further ado, let's get into our last game of the season here against Aston Villa. We put out a strong side, definitely Musacchio back in from injury, which is good to see. He will be in the squad today to collect his medal. At Upton Park, the fans are going to naturally be absolutely buzzing for this game because we are the champions. There's no one that's going to take it away from us here today. So I'm very blessed that we are in this position and I can't wait to get into this game. Villa have had a fantastic season and a win here today could actually see them jump to fifth in the table if Villa, I mean, if um, City, sorry, would not get the result. But we don't want to have any of that. We want to definitely win this game because we don't want to dampen the spirits here today. But again, it's a good Aston Villa side out here today. Easy to see why they're in the position they're in if they play like that all season. But as you can see, Fabinho onto the ball does get taken down in the first couple of minutes here. Referee has no choice but the point to the spot. And it would be Chicharito that steps up here to put the Harrows 1-0 up just 10 minutes into the game. But... It is saved by Subasic with a really good save there. You know, he met that. And that's another penalty that's missed by Hernandez, which is quite disappointing. Villa would come close, though, with a free kick a couple of minutes later. But both teams testing the waters here. No one's had a real opportunity. But Benteke against his former club here. This is going to be interesting for him to see how he does perform. Bizarre does get played in, though, by Benteke and just shoots just past the mark here. Both teams testing each other out here. No one really having that clear-cut opportunity. It's Carrillo would link up with Sanchez here. Sanchez would play it back into Carrillo against a shot away. Just always going away from the goal there, unfortunately, from the snapshot. West Ham come forward, though, now with Richelli Bazzaro, I do believe. Plays the ball into the path of Chicharito. Chicharito gets the shot away, and West Ham would take the lead here five minutes before half-time. A glorious start for us. Um, well, glorious end for us, really, for this uh, half. West Ham fans absolutely celebrating that one. And, of course, Chicharito will continue his, his exquisite form, really. Look at this. Great pass into him, and... He's going to finish that every single day of the week. Make no mistake about it. Look at that. That is, you know, it's, picture, it's a picture perfect. It really is. 13 goals this season in the BPL. He's really turned his fortunes around since switching from Manchester United to Upton Park. But as you can see, Benteco playing Chicharito yet again here. Goes through on goal yet again. Cuts back inside here. He's trying to make something work as he crosses all the way in to find Benteco with a free header. He scores against his former club here. And it's not much of a celebration, but he does celebrate. Christian Benteco, again, continuing his absolute... He's incredible form. He's definitely been the best striker we've bought this season. Um... Actually, can I say that with Valencia with his goal tally? But since January, he's had such a great tally. That's 13 goals. He's level with Javier Hernandez. I mean, if you were to go by that, that would put him on 26 goals if you're speaking theoretically. And that would mean that Valencia would be still on 23. But Valencia has not played that many games. Uh, obviously, he had limited game time uh, due to Welbeck being the team along with the likes of... Um, oh, actually, who was he? It was Welbeck and... Vieto, sorry, but um, it's been weird. But West Ham are 2 0 up now. We're, we're cruising, we're in cruise control, in all honesty. And as you can see, they've come forward though. Osvaldo onto the ball will get his shot away, but Perrin does deny him here. Substitutions are made as Amati Valencia and Gonzalez come on. See if they can get a last minute goal added to his tally for NL Valencia. Fabino gets onto the ball here. The Brazilian does really well as he brings the ball forward. He would find Valencia. Valencia will play it on the overlap to Gonzalez. Gonzalez does really well to cut inside here. Gets the shot away just over the bar there from the Mexican. But it wouldn't matter because West Ham United would become the winners here today. And we are getting our reward now for a hard season's work. We are the BPL champions. The Villa boys congratulating themselves on a phenomenal season two for them. But now all the light is on West Ham United as they're celebrating their second year in a row winning this BPL title. Which is so good to see. And I'm so blessed to be a part of this team. Look at them all celebrating here. It's such a good sight. It really is. I'm happy with them all. And they definitely deserve this. You know. But now this season's over. We turn our sights on now to the Champions Cup final. We have a nice pre-season away. Everyone relax. We get back for the new season, which could be my last season. I'm not decided yet. But, um, yeah, we'll get back for the new season and we'll see what we're going to do here. So, as you can see, it is going to be Henderson that's going to walk up here and hold up this Barclays Premier League title. Well deserved from the Hammers. It really has been. As you can see, it's going to get handed to him. This is what I've been waiting for. That sight there. That is a really good sight to see. I'm so pleased for the boys. They're performing so well and maybe that could be a new thumbnail for the uh, series now. Going into our fourth season. 
I'm not too sure, but you know the lads have. It's it's, it's been a great journey. It really has. I'm, I'm so pleased from. We have performed so well, and like I said, it's well deserved. It is well deserved, and I can't wait to start next season. They have performed at their skins for 38 games this season, even more that, you know, this team has probably played more than any other team this season due to um, cup games and everything, you know, obviously we won the Capital One Cup, didn't get that far in the FA Cup, but we've had Europe to contend with also. Here's the match stats from the game, guys, like I said, that's a site we're not going to forget, the BPL champions, it's so good to see, and I'm pleased for the lads, but like I said, now we turn our thoughts and attentions on to this UEFA Champions Cup final. Fernandes will take our man match from 8.4 rating. Very well played there from him, which is very good to see. We do get £13.6 million pounds for winning the Barclays Premier League title. I think you should get a bit more, but yeah, obviously that's just how the game is functioned. But now let's move on uh, to the game. Obviously, Fakir would come in and really good to see that he is pumped and he's happy going into this Champions Cup final. He's happy he's getting the game time and he will be playing in this game here against his native PSG. As you can see, here's the bench. Valencia, Cuyute, Gonzalez, Amartya, Shah, Noble, and Berhuri make the bench. Starting lineup will consist of Benteke, Hernandez, Fakir, Henderson, Bozoa, Schneidlin, Bertrand, Musacchio, Okore, Fabino, and Perrin. Come on, you Irons. Can we get the win here today? Only time will tell. Simone Zaza and Danny Welbeck may be returning to first team action against us here today. Will they come back to bite us? We have to wait and see. Between them, they did cost a combined, I think, £85 million pounds between them. So, We've gained £85 million from PSG here today, and we're hoping that, that £85 million players will not come back and hurt us. As you can see, here's the team. Zaza will be on the bench. Danny Welbeck starts along with Lucas and Lovetsy. Verratti could buy Matuidi, Silva, Louise, Vanderville, Digne, and Hugo Lloris. It's going to be an interesting game here. Let's see how this one will unfold. As Mantega gets onto the ball, would link up very well here with Chicharito. Chicharito's got Silva here on the back foot. Turns him, gets the shot away. West Ham have a shock lead 11 minutes into this game. My word, that is going to mean so much to the lads here. As Chicharito does score, who else but him? Let's be honest here, what a finish that is. Hugo Lloris, hands on the hips, can't believe it. Um, I don't know what the hell happened to his PSG defence here. He cuts inside, he takes advantage of the space and just powers that into the bottom corner there. No chance for uh, Lloris in that. Nine goals in the Champions Cup this season, and that definitely is most important. This could go down in West Ham history as our first ever UEFA Champions Cup um, victory. But... We're not going to get ahead of ourselves here. Kabai gets a shot away. They do come close, but unfortunately, it does go wide on the mark there for him. But Matuidi would again get PSG on the attack. Back to Matuidi, who slips into the empty net there. Well played from him. Got a little bit of help from the post, but it was a cool, calm, and composed finish there. 1 1. The game's back on terms just like that, right before the half an hour mark. And this final was taking a while to get into gear, but every chance that everyone's had, they have looked deadly. So we know that. If someone's going to get a clear-cut opportunity, most likely it might result in a goal. But West Ham come forward again a few minutes later. This time with Nabil for has got a real opportunity here. Slots it past Lloris. West Ham United have regained the lead just a few minutes after um, getting back on terms here. So, very well played here. Very, very well played. Great character shown here from the Hammers. As uh, Fakir would go forward here. David Luiz is not going to catch him. Silver couldn't get across quick enough. And Lloris dived to the wrong side there. Great play there from the Bill Fakir. Gets his fifth goal in the Champions Cup. He has been a big reason why we have made it here to his final this year. He has been an instrumental part of our team. But right before the half would end, it would be a PSG free kick. Played in by Kabai. Would find Matuidi. Perrin does make a great save there to keep the game at 2-1. PSG would continue on their attack now in the second half. Motta puts the ball deep into the box. Would find Lucas Brazil and plays it into the box to find... I believe that was Pastore. Just puts it just past the post there. The Bill Fakir would again bring the hammers forward. Now what can he do? Does find Chicharito who does stay on side surprisingly enough. Here comes Chicharito now. Cuts inside the box. Plays it into Benteke with the shot. Lloris makes a fantastic save there. That could have been game over. In the 78th minute now, West Ham will come forward. Chitreo puts the ball over the top. Benteke would beat the balance here. Matuidi misses it completely. He goes through on goal. Rans Lloris. Christian Benteke may have just won the Champions Cup here for the Hammers. 3-1 with just 10 minutes left to go here. Have PSG got enough in the tank to come back into this one? We have to wait and see. What a game of football this has been for West Ham. One mistake that's been made by PSG has been punished. And that could have just put them out of the cup here. Wow, what a final. What a final. Six goals in the Champions Cup for Christian Benteke. Well played to him. We do bring on Gonzalez, Bahuli, and Kiyute. All come onto the pitch now. Can they make the difference as West Ham comes, looks to come forward again? 81st minute. Chicharito gets completely taken out by Thiago Silva. Already on the yellow card. Referee right, walks over to him. Shows him the second. He is off. PSG's night has just gotten completely worse. They have absolutely crumbled in this final. 
and now they're down to 10 men. From the following free kick, Gonzalez would get onto the ball here. What could they do? Here comes Gonzalez. The Mexican does really well to hold the ball up. Cross it all the way to find Fabino with the free header. The right back scores 4 1 to West Ham. That is all she wrote. Game over. With five minutes left to go in this game, West Ham are the champions. Look at this. What play from Fabino. A fantastic, calm, cool, and collective finish there from the right back. Gets his first goal in the Champions Cup. And what a time to get. 4 1 to West Ham. Game over. But we would win a corner in the last few minutes here. Played short to Akure. Akure does play into the path of Gonzalez. Beats Lloris at his near post. 5-1. Like I said, absolutely crumbled. They've absolutely crumbled. I don't know what the hell has happened to PSG here. Down to 10 men, obviously hurt them. West Ham took advantage. And if it wasn't a doubt in anyone's mind, we are the champions. There's no way in hell we're ever going to get dethroned here now. My word, what play. What great play. Now this means that next season we'll have the, uh, the task to see if we can retain our Champions Cup title. We've had a very difficult run in this one. The likes of Bayern Munich in our way, Real Madrid. You know, it has been a very difficult campaign for us. But we've come out the other end as the champions. What a play. Everyone's celebrating together, which is good to see. Got for them boys down there uh, in the PSG colours. It just wasn't their day today. It just wasn't. West Ham just were up for it more. They wanted it more. They were hungrier. And it proves it here yet, here yet again today that we are the champions and we are well deserving of that title. We are the champions of Europe and the champions of England. And we are the team to beat now. Simple as that. Next season we will build and become even stronger. And West Ham are definitely the team to watch now for definitely many years to come. As Kiyote does shake the hands of the uh, presenter of the title. West Ham are officially the champions of Europe. Once Kiyote lifts up this title. There you go. West Ham United have completed a fantastic season here today. Two trophies out of a possible two. Well, not really. We won the BPL title actually before. But two trophies held up today in the conclusion of our season. It was brilliant. It just simply was. I'm, I'm so proud of that, lads. I really am. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. A little bit of a longer episode. But it's worth it to see these boys holding up this title at the end. A great, great achievement. It really was. I I'm not sure what stadium we was actually playing that day. I, haven't, I didn't really actually take it in. But great play here. No, they always deserve to be standing around that title. As you can see, West Ham are the Champions Cup champions, which is good to see. We are the champions of champions, you could say. Quite an even game when you look at it, but West Ham just took advantage of that extra man right at the end, and that was PSG's downfall. Simone Zaza or Daniel Welbeck, nothing they could do in their power to change this game back in PSG's favour. Matuidi's early goal seems like a distant memory away now. Perrin will pick up man and match in the final game of the season with an 8.9. Great bit of play from him, really was. And as you can see, we have to speak the likes of Real Madrid, uh, CSKA, Sporting to get here. PSG knocked that Bayern Munich, Atletico Madrid and Borussia Dortmund. We do get 11.9 million, so we're going to have quite a hefty transfer budget next season, which is good to see. And like I said, we're well deserving of it, and I'm, I'm proud of the lads. I really, really am. As you can see here, Valencia would take home the uh, top goal scorer award, Hernandez and Benteke in 5th and 6th. Good to see with 13 goals between them. Joint fourth actually. Um, so goal scorers in the league. And Valencia obviously number one spot. As for top assisters, we will be seeing that in a minute. As you can see, Valencia will take that away too. By far the player of the season so far. Well, he is the player of the season. Fakir will take home that second place. And uh, Bahudi will take home 10th place. As for clean sheets, Perrin will take home 11th place. And Schmeichel will take home 14th place. Just one clean sheet between them. The Bartley's Premier League table did finish like this. We are the champions by 10 points. It's absolute whitewash this season and hopefully you continue it next season. But guys, if you've enjoyed the video, as always, make sure you do smash that like button for the end of the season if you did enjoy it. If you are new around here and you haven't already, then why not hit that subscribe button to never miss West Ham career mode or ultimate team videos ever again. Thank you ever so much for joining us today, guys. I hope you did enjoy the video. I hope you all have a really nice day. Enjoy the weather and peace.